These are the sights and sounds of El Dia de los Negros, or Day of the Blacks, celebrated on Juneteenth in a town called Nacimiento de los Negros in Coahuila, Mexico. My name is Ashley Rodriguez, and I'm a descendant of the Black Seminole Indian. My first time actually going to Nacimiento, I was, I think, five or six years old. And then from then on, we'll kind of make trips periodically down to Nacimiento to celebrate um, Juneteenth. Nobody really knows about the Mexican side of it. Nacimiento de los Negros, which translates to birthplace of the Blacks, is the town where the Black Seminoles, or Negros Mascogos, settled in 1849, just a few hours south of the Texas border. They are descended from slaves who escaped to Florida and later made their way down to Mexico. We're talking about the 18th century, more or less. Uh, when, they, when they got to Florida, they mixed culturally with, um, with the Indian Seminoles and they became the Black Seminoles. They were removed uh, during the Trail of Tears uh, to, to Oklahoma, which was then the, the Indian Territory. So once they got to Oklahoma, where they told them that they would be free and have land, they realized that it wasn't true, it was a lie. And they can come and take them anytime they wanted to, the, the masters. So they decided, you know, they had to leave. So it was a very harsh, harsh, terrible journey that our people had to go through to get to freedom. They didn't allow them freedom there in Oklahoma. And uh, John Horse and Wildcat, they heard, you know, that there's a place in Mexico that they could go to that they could be free. Mexico needed to hire people to defend the border from um, the possibility of, of more U.S. invasion. So what happened with the Black Seminoles is that they managed to negotiate um, a deal with the Mexican state in exchange for land and citizenship. Karina and Dina grew up knowing little about their heritage, but are now dedicated to preserving their stories. Um, we knew that my grandfather on my mom and my dad's side, they were both Black Seminoles, so we didn't know anything else. That's what we're working with, my cousins and I, on, you know, teaching the history and preserving, you know, the tradition. One of our cousins, Bertha Benson, had did a, a YouTube video for Siska and it was talking about how the Seminole language was a lost language. And I didn't want that language to be lost because that's part of my history, that's part of my family. So that's when I started to research more and learn about my history. Part of remembering their traditions is traveling to Nacimiento every year on Juneteenth to celebrate with the town. We have June 19 in Mexico, but we've always, we didn't know it as June 19. We knew it as El Baile de los Negros, El Dia del Negro. We take food, drinks, you know, because it's that's mainly what it is. It's like a big party, like a big family reunion. Celebrating Juneteenth, it's more how I perceive it, it's with my ancestors freeing themselves from slavery, unlike with the American government being the ones to initiate it. It means so much to me. It means that for when I am also an, a unique individual <laughs> that comes from such a rich history that is so unknown. So with the recent events that have happened here within the past years with, of course, George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, and all of that, I feel that I'm also a part of that community since we are descendants of African descent, we also tie into that as well. 